problem started on 108th Street back in August. A big storm dumped heavy rain, washing away the shoulder and part of the asphalt. The road north of Dodge and south of Blondo has been closed since then. And as more rain pelted the metro this week, construction is now at a standstill. But that hasn't stopped traffic. Action 3 News reporter Kelly Bartnick joins us now with more. Kelly? Kevin, as you said, that road is closed and it has been for more than a month. Signs tell you that it's now even barricaded, but some drivers don't understand that and that has a neighborhood fed up. Turning on to 108th at Blondo, the signs are clear, yet somehow people don't understand. Yes, I've seen people move the barricades and just drive through. We didn't see anything quite like that, but close because more than a month after a sinkhole washed away the shoulder of 108th Street between Blondo and Dodge, people are still trying to figure out the fastest route around the closed street. Well, I had a lady come up to me yesterday or two days ago and say, I'm trying to get to the dentist's office. How do I get there? Apparently, it's past Ron and Muriel Caesar's Lee Valley home. They have more traffic out front now than in 40-plus years living at this corner across from the park where green space and playgrounds now compete with tailpipes. They just take up and go that way. People up through there, there's tracks everywhere. Don't believe them? Just watch. That biker decided to take the sidewalk around the park pool. Then there are the cars. We're getting angry people, you know, and then they'll see that street over there and then they'll just go over the curb and get to that parking lot. It got a little better when a nearby apartment complex put in a temporary access road. But they want more. They want better signage and clearer detour routes posted before drivers even get on to 108th. We've had situations where people have been walking their dogs and cars are running right by them trying to get through. I mean, I see people with their GPSs looking like, well, which way do I go now since I can't get through that way? The city says repairs on the 36-foot sinkhole could take up to six months. That means snow could fly before any tires travel this major commuter route again. That they should make it kind of a priority to get this thing open as soon as possible because I don't want to get too far into the winter months and say it's not done. Again, the city has said that construction could take three to six months before 108th is open again. Reporting in the News Center tonight, Kelly Bartnick, Action 3 News.